Many people believe predicting the future is a hazy, inexact process. For them, an accurate prediction depends on blind luck or good fortune. However, relying on luck to predict the weather for your flight is not wise. As a pilot, you must rely on good forecasts. Fortunately, a number of methods with varying accuracies have been developed to help you anticipate weather conditions. Have you left your house in the morning for work, noticed the nice weather, and determined it would still be nice later in the day? If so, you have made a persistence forecast. By assuming the existing weather conditions won't change during the day, you predict the weather in the afternoon will be as nice as it was in the morning. However, this method of forecasting is not reliable over long periods of time, usually not more than one or two hours. Trend forecasting predicts that, without interruption, a weather event, like a storm cell, will continue moving in the same direction and at the same speed it's currently moving. In this case, the storm will reach the airport in less than two hours if atmospheric conditions don't act to change its course and speed. Similar to persistence forecasts, trend forecasting is generally accurate for only a few hours. At times, predictions are based on the average historical weather for an area. Known as climatological forecasts, they are reliable in areas and times which enjoy little change in day-to-day -day conditions. For instance, San Francisco has a generally moderate climate and may receive less than one rainy day per month during the summer. The analog forecast also uses historical data for predictions. This method is useful in predicting the temperature for a given day. By combining past data for a certain day with prevailing weather conditions, a meteorologist can accurately predict the expected high or low temperature. One of the better ways to predict the weather is the meteorological forecast. A good meteorologist can reliably forecast out to 12 hours by using his knowledge of atmospheric processes. This type of forecast can be a valuable tool for pilots. Powerful computers and mathematical equations have increased forecast accuracy by modeling weather trends. The result is a numerical weather prediction. The computer runs one forecast model on top of another to determine their effects over time. Doing so produces a relatively accurate picture of future weather events. Regardless of the forecast you receive, you can be sure the information contained was collected and compiled with the help of numerous agencies. With thousands of land and sea-based reporting stations, large volumes of weather data can be collected and analyzed. Through the coordinated action of several agencies, including the World Meteorological Organization, National Weather Service, and numerous private organizations, weather information is disseminated for your use. Although the Weather Collection and Dissemination Network is extensive and thorough, it's not perfect. While forecasting accuracy continues to improve, long-term forecasts and short-term predictions of localized weather phenomena are still difficult to develop with reliability. Even though forecasters aren't always precise, the experience and skill they can provide you is superior to other methods of predicting the future. After all, when it comes to aviation weather, having the edge provided by a good forecast is better than taking your chances.